Hello and welcome to the online demonstration of Gap Consulting's Auto Summary for Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. Auto Summary aims to provide a no-code solution to enable plugins to be created without the need of a developer. These plugins can count, sum, average, min or return max values of child records which can then roll up onto a parent record. So for example auto summary could be used to add together all the values of opportunities or invoices for a certain time period and update the parent account record. Auto summary is fully compatible with Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011 both on-premise and online versions. To install the solution we simply navigate to the solutions area and import the auto summary zip file. After the solution has been imported be sure to publish all customizations. After publishing all customizations simply refresh if using a web client and a gap consulting sub area will appear within the settings area. This includes two entities, interfaces and auto summary definitions. The interfaces entity stores information such as license key uh, data or other settings which allows us to tweak the way auto summary performs. More information can be found on these interface uh, records within the configuration page which can be found within the solution. Alternatively, uh, look at the Gap Consulting website under the Essentials menu. Before we go ahead and create our first auto summary definition, let's look at an example uh, that we can use. If I look at an account record, and in this case we shall look at Blue Yonder Airlines. I can see that I've added a new field called Total Budget. At the moment this field is not updated by any process. Uh, so the, the aim of this demonstration will be to update the Total Budget with a sum of all the values held on the child opportunity records for Blue Yonder Airlines. To illustrate if I look at this new widget order I can see that the budget amount is currently £25,001. So the objective of the auto summary definition that we're about to create will summarize all these budget amounts held on the opportunity record and update the total budget value on the account record. To create our auto summary definition we navigate to settings, auto summary definitions and click new. The definition must be given a name so sum of opportunity budget values. We can select the calculation type and we can choose whether to simply count the number of opportunities, summarize the value of a specific field return the average, the minimum value or the maximum value. In this case I'm going to select summarize. The execution mode defaults to background task and that means it will operate in a similar fashion to a workflow so it performs an asynchronous operation and can take a few seconds to execute. We can however select real time and this operates in a traditional plugin fashion so immediately when a child record is uh, created, saved or updated. We simply select the parent entity, so in this case it's the account, the parent field where we wish to store the result of our summarization, so in this case it's the total budget, sum of opportunities which I created earlier. We have the ability to trigger auto summary either by unchange of all child uh, fields or records but alternatively we can specify an individual field on the parent entity so that could be a, a, a tick box 
um, a yes no radio set and on change of that bit field we could trigger the auto summary execution so this could uh, this is a, a manual way of performing uh, an auto summarization similar in a similar way to uh, recalculating goals in this case I will leave the execution trigger as all fields then we simply select the child relationship so this is a relationship that ties the opportunity to the parent account and that happens to be the opportunity potential customer then we select the child field so the budget amount which is on the opportunity Auto Summary also allows us to add a filter query and a filter query is a very powerful feature which allows us to uh, define which child records need to be summarized in this case uh, so for example we don't wish to add together the values of closed or won opportunities so I can select and create a new filter query in this case I've created one called open opportunities and if we have a look at that it uses the same functionality that users will be familiar with when creating goals when we save and close our definition that actually creates a plugin in the background uh, without the need of any developer resource um, and what could take you know several hours for a developer to achieve we've literally uh, created that in a matter of seconds. I'll see this in action. If I navigate to sales, accounts and open Blue Yonder Airlines I can see at the moment the total budget has not been updated because we haven't made any updates to our child opportunity records just yet. If I expand the navigation and look at the two opportunities we have for Blue Yonder I'll see I've got two opportunities for 25,000 each and the new widget order's got an extra pound in there. If I open up this opportunity and amend my budget amount to 25,000 and save the record that will trigger our auto summary in this case it's in a synchronous mode so it's immediate so when I jump back to Blue Yonder Airlines I can see my total budget now reflects the sum of the two child opportunity values. For further information you can contact us at solutions at gapconsulting.co.uk call us on the number on the screen or download a trial version of Auto Summary from our website www.gapconsulting.co.uk or alternatively download from pinpoint.microsoft.com